Hi guys, so, oh my gosh, the hottest day of the year so far. It's been scaldering today, like 25. Yeah, that's what my phone said. Although it probably feels like it was hotter than that. Tomorrow's meant to be 26, so even hotter. Um, today, me, Cameron and Ollie were de-weeding the front and Danny was painting the um, fence panels. So I'll chuck in some footage of that. Bless Liam weren't helping because he has so much schoolwork. He's saying he does more schoolwork at home than he does normally at school. It's like that much. Um, yeah, bless him. On such a lovely day as well. I mean, he's had a break here and there, like to have lunch and to come out and have an ice pole and stuff like that. But he's been working, doing schoolwork all day. Whereas Ollie's don't take that long. So yeah. Oh. Cameron is still doing this t-shirt, let me show you. He literally only has this bit and then these two left to do. Looks so good. We actually heard back from Guns N' Roses. Really? Yeah. They've, um, Cancelled. no, they haven't cancelled, they've postponed it so they don't have to give us a refund. <laughs> yeah, it's been postponed to a later date. We don't know when that is, but. Yeah. So, I, I will be able to wear it at some point. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just Camera's just watering the garden. I've got yeah. the, um, what's that thing called? Sprinkler. Sprinkler, of course, yeah. You just keep moving it around on the grass because the ground is so, so dry. Yeah. Unbelievable. But it is amazing how things have started to open back up again. Um, Cameron's driving lessons are starting back up again come Friday. So that's exciting, nerve wracking, but exciting. Um, and then schools are meant to start opening back up for like the younger children in year six. Doesn't affect mine, none of mine are going to go back. Um, and honestly, Ollie's doing really well with homeschooling, isn't he? Yeah. His spelling is coming on so much. He's really benefiting from the, like the one-to-one. -one. Whereas Cameron's homeschooling, like the college work, is appalling because I mean, how are you going to learn electrical work at home? That's just impossible, even though you are keeping up with all the work that's set for you, isn't it? Yeah. But Finally, I don't know. Out, yeah. yeah, I don't know how his college course is going to go, if he's going to have to go back and then maybe reset half of it. I'm not sure how that's going to work because he's not even doing his hours. Um, because he can't do his hours, so he won't finish his his like his college course, even if he does the work. Oh, there's an aeroplane or something. And I think like half the classroom hasn't got the hours either. Yeah, he's saying half half his class doesn't have his hours. Oh, there's a helicopter. And then yeah, Liam's really struggling because the workload is so much. And he's saying like with science. I hope you can hear me over that helicopter. With science. It's so boring at home because you don't get to do the experiments. I'm actually having a good day today, aren't I? Mm. Yeah, look at me. I'm out and everything. Today I've been having a good day. I'm 15 weeks pregnant today. And some days are good and some days are bad. Most days are bad. <laughs> but today's been a good day. I've been feeling okay today. So after telling you last time we spoke, I'm having such a great day. I feel so great. Yesterday was the worst day. I literally spent all day in bed. I think I got up twice. Um, 
once because Danny went shopping and I had to record it and I've already seen those messages like, are you feeling okay? And then um, the second time to try and eat some dinner. I woke up with such a headache, my head was absolutely splitting. And then I had some paracetamol, had some toes, went back to sleep. Woke up, had some paracetamol, um, had some water, I went back to sleep. My, I had the curtains closed, I had such a headache. But today I'm feeling a lot better, which is good. So yeah, like I said, I'm having good days and bad days. Um, yeah, I thought I'd just update with the pregnancy in case you were wondering. I don't want to like solely keep my content like pregnancy related because that's not what my channel is about. My channel is more just like anything. It's just a vlog, isn't it? It's just like anything that happens in my week. That's what we talk about. And obviously because I am pregnant, that is a lot of what's going on. Um, but yeah, let me give you a bump shot. I'm now 15 weeks. And honestly, I don't know how I've got a bump because according to my app, the baby is as big as a uh, avocado. So like this big that's not big and also the baby's really really low down so why have i got a bump up here like what is this because <laughs> it's certainly not food because i can barely eat anything um dinner i had eaten i had like a half a chicken kiev and like two tiny bites of mash and that was it my, most of my calories are actually coming from bread <laughs> cameron's been laughing he's like are you sure you're not giving birth to a little duck like, is there a little duck in your belly? Because all you eat is bread. Because that's easy to keep down and it's easy to actually eat. You know what I mean? I'm still having a dinner, but I'll have like a couple of bites of it and not be able to stomach the rest. And then a couple of hours later, I'll be like, oh, Liam, can you make me some toast? Liam's the best at making toast. Let me show you my bump. So yeah, isn't that funny? Because it's not all baby. Because like I said, the baby's really, really low. So what's the, what's all this? <laughs> Unless it's like my organs being pushed out. I just find it so strange. Um, oh my gosh, look at my roots. They're so bad. I really wanted to, well I've capped it the last couple of times. I did want to foil it the next time I did my hair because it's really dark underneath. But I don't think I'm well enough to do that. I think I might get Cameron to help me next week pull it through the cap because um, it just gets it done. I do need to cut Cameron's hair, poor Cameron. I'm gonna try and do that later. I'm gonna really, really try and do that later. Danny's still working on the fence on the drive. It's one of those jobs where, and the garden, when you, because we paint not only our sides, but we also paint our neighbor's sides because we put the fence in and uh, we want to prolong the life as long as possible so we don't have to replace it. So we like to keep up to date with getting it painted at least every couple of years. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> moaning because when he does the garden he can use the sprayer but on the drive because obviously you've got cars and you can't use the sprayer because it all splashes everywhere and he doesn't want to like ruin the neighbors cars and stuff like that so he's doing it all by hand and he's moaning out there going oh my gosh <laughs> it's taken him forever it's taken him so long to do it but it keeps him busy it keeps him out of trouble right
would you think? Mm. Short, wouldn't it? Short. It'll grow. Really, show the people. I'm bold. You're not bold. <laughs> You're not bold. The way your hair grows. The amount of hair that's on the floor. Sweep it all up and put it on a pile so we can show. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So much hair. Oh Do you feel light? Mm. You're all light headed now. Look at that amount of hair. For a boy's haircut. And that's my foot. Look. Huge, huge amount of hair. His hair's so thick as well. And it looks so much better. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I thought I'd just come in to end the vlog and show you that Cameron finished my top. There's a little bit of glue like on the outside of it that I need to clean up. I think I'm gonna hand wash it rather than stick it in the washing machine. But in the sun, oh, does it sparkle. It looks very, very pretty. So yeah, a lot of work, but well worth it on camera's part, honestly. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.